Hey you right guys, Trey from is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 21 of One Tree Hill Season 3. Uh, I don't have too long today so I'm not going to go on too much in this intro, but really enjoyed the last episode. We obviously have two episodes remaining, and I'm curious how they're going to wrap things up. What they're going to get ready for Season 4, like I say, most people agree that this is the best season, but some people have got me actually excited for Season 4 and 5, even though I was anyway, because... Uh, is One Tree Hill, but got me more excited because they, some people are saying it's four and five of their favourites and stuff, so yeah, season uh, episode 21 there guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to One Tree Hill, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below, where there should be an entire season ahead, so by the time this one's on YouTube, Patreon should have actually started season five, <laughs> I reckon by the time this one's on YouTube, but yeah, anyway, let's do this. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Oh, Jay doing the intro. Away. Doing a kid's story. Oh, this is where, correct if I'm wrong, she broke down in the first episode. I mean, she might not even be in Tree Hill, so maybe not. And so the two decided to marry. No, yeah, then Lucas, then she, that's where she met Lucas. Did you just say you wanted to get married? Yeah. Crazy, right? No. So, I mean, yeah, but... But no. <laughs> but for now, it is my wedding dress, and it is not ready. Does it look like my dream dress? Like Vera Wang meets Snow White. It's better. <laughs> it's better than that. This is so exciting. What should be crap? So, how did Nathan ask you to marry him the first time? Um, what are you doing? Oh, the one about the internet porn? Yes, thank you for Oh, that. yeah! <laughs> God. He said that he could love me forever. Why is she recording this? Maybe it's for the, like, the, the uh, wedding. She's gonna play it in the speakers. Tell him his girlfriend stopped by. Uh, Rachel. Look, um. I forgot that I trick, to be honest. Well, maybe I'll just wait and hear that from him. Mm. You're not going to, okay? But you're in high school, and he's nearly thirty. <laughs> What's next? God. <laughs> Bro. He wouldn't have lied in the first place. He's thirty. Just tell him I stopped by. <sighs> Can she not be in season four, please? <sighs> Blood bag. Look like Zoro, Daredevil over here. Fabulous. Do you love it? Is that good? You're I don't. Speechless. I don't. I, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. it? Is she joking? I love weddings. I don't know much about wedding dresses, but no. Getting my head all over again. Tell me you want to stay, and then ask me to marry you. What? Because. Might just say yes. Yeah, Jay, you little trickster. The end. What just happened? So the princess and the what are these like the fade to white? She what? Was a princess, the call went out for a beautiful gown. What the fuck's going on? Why? <laughs> oh, is this gonna be like the whole theme of this app, like fairy tales and all? Oh. I mean, Brooks, you're made of honor, and you did ask her to make the dress, right? So. Well, so she'd be crushed if you didn't wear it. But it's her wedding day, so I'm sure Brooke will get over it. <laughs> Peyton's car broke down. You want to come with me? Um, yeah. Where is Peyton then? Oh no, so there's a conversation with Jake. Okay, so she's come this. home. So she's not marrying Jake. Is that what we're doing? We're in like a multiversal time jump bullshit. What's on your mind, kiddo? You're, you're being abusive towards me. Brooke. It's kind of on my mind a lot, Mum. Like, I don't think you should be hitting me anymore. I'm a grown human. You are abusive. You're also violent because you slapped a whitey. Hey, episode one vibes. Straight up, is. I'm gonna have to tell you in, but I can drop you off somewhere if you want. No, it's okay. I called someone. What, Lucas Mucus? I oh, know, Nathan. He did say. Hey, you okay? How you been? Could be better. Am I giving me a hand? Where's this witty sarcasm he had? So, uh, I haven't seen you around much. It's because you don't hang out with any cool people. You don't hang out with Tim either. He's not cool, but his actual best mate. I just made it worse. Yeah, he didn't help the situation. I wish I could talk to the kid in that room and try to help. That word you mean? Damn, he changed his tune rapid. Me too. I mean, I was that. I mean, God. <laughs> I guess we're all going to have that day with us. I'm glad they have this scene, actually. Like, cause it'd be weird if they just didn't speak about it. <laughs> but they do bring it up, like, quite a few times, which is good. You know you talk in your sleep? 
Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't do this, Peyton. This is the last time, though. And uh, they Come can't. Back, you shouldn't stay here. And she goes back without him, so that's that then, yeah? They can't have Jay returning again. What I say was really that bad? Did I say I wanted to kill you or something? No. You said I Lucas. Oh. No. <laughs> Normally, that's a good thing. He said, I love you, Lucas. I love you, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! That is tragic. Haley. Is Dan gonna try? I hear no. the two you plan on renewing your vows. I'm happy for you. <laughs> what the fuck? You're the best thing that's happened in his life in a long time. I'm not buying it. This. You. I'm not. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. It's nice to see and hear, but. We're going to need more than one app of him doing it. Have a nice wedding day. They're going to invite him to the wedding. They're going to invite him to the wedding, hey, which will be the next step. You know the drill. Hey, Cooper. 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 Stop like focusing on this character. Okay. Unless she's like Brooke's rival, I don't want... Right, that'll help. That... Yeah. He'll call right back on his broken phone. What are you doing? I don't like it. Damn. No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just a little. Maybe we could just take it down a little. You know, I worked really hard on this. I know you did. That does suck, but. And you hate it. Bro, come I on. So if you want to go shopping and buy a new wedding dress, why don't you go to Slut Barn? Right. Okay. I'm yeah. Sure, they're having a sale. That's pathetic. Oh, well, you would know, wouldn't you? That was pathetic from Brock. She came up well respectful, like, it's a good dress, just not really my vibe, is that okay? Like, yeah, it sucks, she put time into it, but it is what it is, and Brooke's there, like, nah, fuck off. She's your mate, give her for a rest. And you could probably just sell it to, like, go to a charity shop. It was the school shooting, okay, and I was bleeding, and I thought I was gonna die. I didn't even mean it like that. I do believe she loves Jake more than Lucas. Surely. Let me ask you a question. What if Brooke didn't have Lucas? Yeah, if Brooke wasn't with Lucas, then Lucas and Payton would have definitely hooked up by now. That's like... Yeah. It meant she would have to leave her faithful handmaid behind forever. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hi, only friend I can trust. No, Brooke, you're out of line. Oh, <laughs> when I left this weekend, I went to go see Jake. Bruh. My God. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> Does it look it? It makes all the sense in the world that you would want a family. No, I want this family. I believe that. Okay, I believe you know that. What? She, We've seen what she's like when she's at home like, without Jake. She has a picture of him on her wall. She's always thinking about him and shit. I don't want to believe that there's another guy in your heart. But I think that there is. I think he ain't wrong. I ain't wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I am afraid. Well, I have to be twice as honest. Once for me, once for Jenny. Yes, Jake. He ain't wrong, though. Like, she has still got feelings for Lucas. All right, Haley. Damn. Don't apologize. I am going to apologize. What? What? Is, I, 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 <laughs> Sorry, for wanting your perfect dress on your wedding day, we're apologizing to Brooke. Because she went, oh, whatever. Do what you want to do. I'll be apologizing for shit. My son, the next great American author. <laughs> I don't know about that, Ma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that ever since you were born, Keith has been saving a fund for you. Ah, of course he has. Of course he has. I about it myself. But we're loaded now. We are actually rich as fuck. You, Luke. I totally lost my mind and went off on Haley. I called her a slut. Ow. You know what? I'm proud of you, Davis. I'm going to find another dress. I'm not shopping for her. Uh, because I feel miserable. I called her a slut. I'm proud of you, Brooke Davis. <laughs> right, yeah. I know that's not what she meant. She's on about, she thought she was buying her address, but. Poor choice of words straight after that line. But you're wearing the same clothes you've been wearing since Ep 1. Were you like checking out? What's going on? How is your phone working? You dashed it at a wall. I'm just throwing it again. I guess, to be fair, those phones back in the day were like bricks. You could toss that off the Empire State Building. You would not cut your hands on doing that straight away. Um, and... Rachel? It wouldn't break. 
Your boot was like an alien. You're the best company. Believe that. I can imagine that. I can imagine hanging out with Brooke is like a fun time. Like everyone else would be kind of matching us a lie. <laughs> Unless you called Rachel a fuck Ralph. No problem. Skills is sick, and he's supposed to be in that first scene with me. Oh, they're actually doing a play? I don't think he That's kind of cool. Nathan, you know, his hair. <laughs> his hair. <laughs> That's class. Give him a set of lines. Oh. That's the best trick they've done. friend secretly taped how they fell in love and decided to use it against them. Yep. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, the, the dog's there. I'm not talking to ghosts, promise. And very unauthorized reenactment of Nathan and Haley, a fairy tale. Sure, as long as it doesn't go on for more, I'll give you five minutes. If this goes on longer than five minutes, I will give this episode a, a, about a one. Let's see how so accurate it is. Scott, Mr. Big Shot basketball player, I don't trust you, and I'm totally not into you. She actually kind of looks like Haley. I've nailed that. That did happen. That did happen. Don't say I never gave you no bling. <laughs> Fucking, I'm getting the mood a bit. I was depressed. There we go. There we go. <laughs> ah, yeah, so <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Who the fuck's that? I'm not a wife. I know that's Deb. Who's that? <laughs> Who are you? I'll always be there for you, Mr. Scott. Oh, he's one of the Haley, players. Always and forever. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? That did happen. Brooke? No. You're gonna wake my parents. Oh, That's the their room. girl from uh, Team Wolf. Haley, uh... oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Start over. <laughs> 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 decided to go for a run, and I ended up here. Boy, is it raining out. Now they're probably fucking half to do that uh, production, aren't they? I'm gonna marry you, Haley James. Someday. Yeah, better marry bro. I knew he was gonna pants a pay and being depressed. But your father told you to follow your heart, and he's right. <sighs> Which just kills me to say it. Does anyone watching, at this point in the show, Care about Peyton and Lucas. What if I go back and my heart just aches for you like it No? Well there we go then. Well then I'll still be here. Ready for season four. Come visit me in season four, episode ten. <laughs> if I've got that right. Rachel's here, can you just try not to kill each other? <laughs> yeah, I actually invited her. You what? Long story. Why? <laughs> What's mouth? You invite Rachel and not mouth? Mirrors just break all the time. Oh, is we gone through this Cooper Pooper thing for these two to be friends? I broke the glass because I was mad at myself for lying to Cooper. I mean, I know I just met him, but I really liked him. And now he doesn't want to see me anymore. After he slept with her, though. <laughs> what was he doing? Oh, my God. Because I know what it feels like. Mm. If Lucas breaks her heart again, I'll that break anybody. that camera. Not even your worst enemy. Not even her. I won't, but <laughs> we can pretend. You showed up, man. Yeah. What the hell, dude? Where's Tim? I can't figure out how you ever got married the first time. Hey, I thought you snuck up. I mean, these two could be mates. He's probably more likable than Tim. I kind of like him. He seems like a different person. I can make you an offer, actually. I mean, if you want to come back to school, I'll tutor you. Yeah, she's a great tutor, man. She makes it all really easy. <laughs> I'll think about it, okay? My only worry is they're kind of throwing this in very late into the season, and will they just drop it in season four? I don't know. That was really nice. Like, I could have been Nathan's mate, because they've clearly just got rid of Tim, like he doesn't yeah, exist anymore. I mean, maybe we should just cut the night short. No, we can't. This is the big finale. Please. Why didn't Brooke just. Okay, oh no, we've got to find someone to play Deal. Those Nathan. Um. <laughs> a big make-out scene where they have sex and they're going to have to have sex in front of everyone. Oh, the proposal, right. Before we 
Don't. If you, okay, you know if they do the scene and Brooke starts to notice that they're like actually still in love with each other or some shit, I'm gonna flip a table. Golly gee, that was some good loving, Haley. Oh yes, yes. No one's laughing. Oh, you were all dry as fuck. What are you thinking? Oh, I was just. Who's called Bona? What the fuck's that? I was just thinking how. I know you're gonna have a PTSD flashback, but. Payton's got an erection and no one's noticed this. Where's your head? Look inside your heart and ask yourself, is Lucas still there? Just say no. I'll be here. Oh my god. Bro! I love you. You know that? Everything's gonna be alright, right? Oh my god. Your pain's how you feel so good. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yo, they have been through a lot, haven't they? When you look at it like that. Oh my god. It was actually kind of a good little montage, I'm not even gonna lie. Don't do it, Brock! Because I know what they're trying to do. Fuck off. I'm so phone is still alive. Hey, Mr. Cooper, you know oh, I thought you were gonna leave a message like, you know what? Fuck off. We would like you to come to the wedding. I did there you go, I thought I called it. But God help you if you don't change. Oh Dan! Don't fuck this up. Do not fuck No, what'll happen is um he'll try to change, but then the people will find out he killed Keith. Which will be season four. Because people are going to find that out. Like, that's what's going to happen. And then he'll go back to his old ways. Calling it. Probably wrong. <sighs> Kara's hair looks sick. Is someone pissed on the bed? Oh. Oh! Wait, who got that? Did Brooke design that or did. Nathan buy it. Lived happily ever after. The end. Unless you're called Jake. Don't say you love Lucas. Why would you? Bro. Why would you tell that to Brock? No, no, bad move. Bad move. Bad move. No. No. <laughs> you do not tell that to your best friend. You don't. I guess you're doing like, I've got to be honest with my feelings and not suppress them. I get that, but there are just some things you don't... Oh my god. That is going to fuck with Brooke's head so much. Because now she'll get it in her head, like, what if she'll start analysing if Lucas still cares about her. And now she'll start looking into them both interacting again at every point. And then Lucas will start being the person to Brooke, like, you're just overthinking it. There's nothing between us. And then that's going to make Brooke feel like shit. I'm, I'm actually pissed off at paying for that. Uh, yep, there we go. That is episode 21, the penultimate episode of One Tree Hill, season 3. Good episode. I really enjoyed this one. Um... I liked the guy from the the school shooting, I don't know his name, but the character from the school shooting. I like they kind of brought him back into it. I don't really know what the reason is for it yet, but I just like that they're still talking about what happened and not just kind of pretending it didn't happen or anything like that. So uh, he seems to have changed his tune a lot as well. So maybe we'll get more of him, hopefully, uh, as the episodes go on. I'm not expecting him to be like a main character or anything, but just having pop up would be nice. Kind of annoyed about the Jake situation. Like It got, it got me hyped up like that they were going to be together, but... No, she still has feelings for Lucas, obviously. But again, I do respect Jake for saying, like, I'm not going to marry you or be with you because if you care about someone else in that way. So uh, she needs to go figure that out. And yeah, I think I like that he kind of told her that, basically. So I get it. It's annoying, but I get it. And then her telling Brooke at the end that she still has feelings for Lucas is just pathetic. I'm sorry, why would you say that? That's annoying me. But yeah, overall... 
pretty good episode. I'll probably give this one a 7.9. I'm going to go just below an 8 for this one. Some things in there that I'm not, you know, super in love with, but there were some good... Actually, 7.9 is quite high. I'll go 7.7 out of 10. There were still some things in here that I didn't love, but then a lot of things I did really like as well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm going to watch the finale tomorrow, so if you do want the early and uncle reactions to One Tree Hill, then link to Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below where, like I say, they would have probably started Season 5 by the time this episode is on YouTube. And now my Twitter and Instagram will be down below as well if you want to check any of that out. And until next time, Episode 22. Thanks for watching. Peace.